Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. So apparently, Nikola Jokic, he's bored and tired of playing against the Lakers. Tell me. I mean, they have beaten Did LeBron and AD so many times. That. At this point, they're bored. It's like going through the motion. Here we go again. The same team. They're weak. They're mentally weak. And he's tired of it. The man won competition. So Nikola Jokic, after beating down the Lakers for the 11th time, the man is seeking competition because it's just boring playing the same team over and over and you keep destroying them. It's an innate human feeling like, okay, I have beat you 9 times, 10 times, 11 times. Okay, next. You don't get joy in destroying somebody that you know is inferior. You don't get joy in that. In any sports, it could be boxing, it doesn't matter what it is. If you know someone is not on your level, after you beat them a few times, they're pushovers. You don't want to fight them anymore. You don't want to play against them anymore. And that's how Nicole is feeling about LeBron and AD. We're just superior. We're better than them. We are much better. We're a better team. And we got to keep playing these dudes over and over. And they're tired. Nicola is tired of beating down LeBron. And it's understandable. They swept them last year in the Western Conference Finals. They are on route of sweeping them again for the second time. So, of course, the man is bored. They have already proven the Lakers are no competition. So, yes, I am sure the team, they're bored. You know, even though you got to play who is in front of you, it's the playoff. It's like, oh, here we go again. The same weak-minded team. And it's like, eh. And you could tell they're toying with the Lakers because every game, they're down by 20, they're down by 12, or it's always a big lead. The Lakers will come out swinging. Everybody's gunning. And at the end of the game, oh, Denver won again. This tells you they know they are so much superior. It's like toying, playing with your food. We know we're better. So it's like, eh. And it's natural for you to feel that way. If you know you're greater than someone or you have a better team and you keep destroying somebody, you don't get joy in it anymore. I mean, eventually it turns to pity. It literally turns to pity. And it's unreal that LeBron and AD can't get one game. That is insane to me. You mean to tell me you can't win one game? And I am sure Denver is saying, you know, listen, we are going to sweep this team again. We're going to make an example. We're going to ink it in their minds that they can't beat us. So I'm sure even though they're up 3-0, even though they're up 3-0, I'm sure they're thinking, you know what? We're going to sweep this team one more time. You know, just for future reference, even though it's already evident, but just so they know they can't beat us. At no time can they beat us. So this is what Nicola had to say. To be honest, I think every game is tougher and tougher. You can see they were up 20 in Denver in game two. They were up 12 today in the first half. But yeah, I think it's really hard to play against the same team over and over again. You kind of get bored with the style of play or whatever. So you just need to, especially for us because we won the last three, just trust what we are doing and don't get bored with success because it can go wrong really quick. I mean, that's just another way of saying we are bored, tired of beating this weak team. They're pathetic. They are pathetic. So we are just tired of beating down LeBron and AD. And you got to win one just off heart, just off pride and heart. Just off that, you got to win one. I don't care if we lose a series, but we got to win one. Come on, man. Come on, LeBron. Come on, AD. And I got to blame them both because in game one, LeBron, he ran out of gas in the fourth. In game two, AD wasn't assertive and LeBron stopped passing them the ball. I didn't watch game three. I wasn't available. But, you know, it's sad, man. At some point, pride got to kick in. We're not losing tonight, man. I don't care what. We are not losing tonight. LeBron is good at front running when they're beating weaker teams. He's good at flexing, front running, you know, showboating, you know, showing off, especially when he's ahead. Whenever the Lakers are ahead in any game, any situation, you know, LeBron starts showboating. You know, he do his normal front running routine. But once they fall behind, the whole tone change. I mean, this is just sad for a team, for the main superstar to be like, yo, we're bored. Like, that is crazy. Imagine that. We are bored because we have no competition. And this team, they provide no competition. I could guarantee you if Denver felt like, 
you know, we can't go down against the Lakers because we're going to lose. They would even play better, honestly. But the fact of the matter, they're playing with their food because they know we are a better team. We could turn on that switch anytime we want. Against this team, we could turn it on whenever we want. And they have proven that. So it's sad, man. You know, another sad year for LeBron. You know, he keeps saying he's the GOAT. He could keep telling himself that. That's fine. You know, but we're going to see what happened in game four, man. Can Denver pull off another sweep? Send the Lakers home. D'Angelo Russell, his time in LA is over, more than likely. The dude quit on his team, sat on the other side on his phone. That is crazy. But we're going to see what happened, man. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.